Thomas Gottstein, thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. And I have to say, this is your first earnings results. Uh, you're the new chief executive. I mean, wow, what a baptism, baptism of fire this is. For the $1 billion in provision and markdowns, what is actually your economic assumption behind this? Yeah, first of all, thank you, Francine, for having me. And uh, welcome to everybody uh, who is listening in to this call. Um, yes, it was a baptism of fire, as you said. Um, I didn't expect that when I took the role on the 14th of February, but uh, within less than a month, uh, a lot of things have changed. Having said that, I'm actually very pleased with our results. It was uh, a record net income of 1.3 billion, 13% return on tangible equity, and from that perspective, uh, very pleased with uh, the fact that we managed to incorporate a reserve build of $1 billion, as you mentioned, um, which consists roughly of about $600 million of um, credit provisions and $400 million of uh, unrealized mark-to-market losses. Um, and as you may or may not know, we are a U.S. GAAP reporter, one of the few European banks that uh, is a U.S. GAAP reporter, and that included also a meaningful portion within our uh, credit provisions um, of um, just shy of 400 million mm -hmm. of Cecil related um, write downs, which are, as you know, not single name write downs, but much more a write downs uh, for the entire uh, lending book. With respect to assumptions, we clearly yeah. um, assume a significant reduction in GDP in the second quarter uh, uh, of roughly 20% 20, 20 in the U.S. and in the high single digits in Europe and in Switzerland. And for the full year, we expect uh, recessions not only in the U.S., but also in Europe and, and to less, less extent uh, in Switzerland. But also for Switzerland, our models assume a recession for this calculation. But so is it the assumption also reflecting the current expectations of the lockdowns being eased and all the government functions working, you know, by May or June, or is it a bigger stress test? As I said, we assume a recession for Europe, uh, the U.S. and Switzerland, and we have uh, done this on the basis of uh, end of end of March assumptions. And we factor in a very slow uh, removal of lockdowns based on our current uh, uh, knowledge. Um, and it's, it's basically the, the – we work with various scenarios as part of this calculation, slower and mm -hmm. faster one. Uh, yeah. Uh, how has transaction income and trading held up actually for the month of April? Um, Quite good, actually. Uh, volumes uh, are still quite decent, but uh, have come down a bit. But uh, it has stabilized clearly. Um, but transactional revenues are still uh, quite, quite strong.